Good morning, my people. Good morning, good morning to all of you. Welcome to today's program. Good morning. Um, I noticed that uh, Facebook has been delaying my videos, delaying everything that I'm sharing. If I share something, it takes long. So, good morning to all of you. If you, um, uh, let me see. Let me see. So, good morning. Good morning, my people. You know, the owners of this platform, <laughs> that's the Facebook, they do their thing as they want. Um, there has been shadow bounding my program, my video. If I share things, <laughs> it takes long before people come across it. So greetings, my people. It's also on the Ukraine-Russian issue. Um, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Um, my people, this thing don't they get hot to... Hmm. This thing don't they get hot, um, but uh, I believe I believe we will succeed. We will, we will make it. Um, well, let me see how the streaming is going because I'm seeing that uh, Facebook is playing their game as they normally do. Um, okay. They have been restricting my videos. Good morning, Akman. Akman, good morning. Um, I noticed that uh, the system of things that I'm setting out in terms of we liberating ourselves as Africans are possible. We can do it. It's doable because of some things that really happened since yesterday. Murphy, good morning. Good morning, my brother. Um, the problem in Ukraine and uh, between Ukraine and Russia has been boiling over. Even, um, oh, you are watching from South Africa. Wonderful. Thank you, my brother. So that would be nice if our people will also write where they are watching from so that uh, we'll be able to know where those uh, people, everybody's watching from. Is that Mubarak? Wow, good morning, Ibrahim. Um, you all of us know that uh, the problem in Ukraine is being fueled and orchestrated by United States, more especially because Europe don't want that war to break out. That's why before this war breaks out, all the whole European leaders, I mean the president of France, Germany, uh, Hungary, and... Uh, some other countries travel to Russia to persuade President Putin to cancel that war. But uh, Putin keeps on demanding one thing, guarantee. Give me guarantee that Ukraine will not become NATO by tomorrow. And not only that, the um, Russian secret service working inside Ukraine knows that America has over 50-something military laboratories. If I said military laboratories, we are they are developing dangerous anthrax, dangerous chemical weapon. And you know that all these things that they are doing in Ukraine is not allowed from Turkey. Wow, wow. You know, so um, um, they are not allowed to do those research in the United States. Now, their military industrial complex are now moving those their labs to their satellite states. But the worst case of it is that they build those labs within Russian borders. And Russia has been complaining that people that are living around are having diseases that has been expired decades back. And they now start researching and find out that a lot of these laboratories have been set up in Ukraine.
uh, four things that Russia asked for. Um, I know that Russia also demanded that uh, the NATO should dismantle all their infrastructures that are within the eastern part and move back to where they agreed upon before. Everything that Russia is demanding, they have the right to ask for it. Because it's only three that you will tell, by next tomorrow, I'm going to cut you down. And that three will remain there. You know? If you look at the world index, check the whole wars that have been happening since 9-11. All of them. It's only one people that are destroying the whole countries of the planet. Using the European allies, destroying, dismantling, if I say destroying, stealing their property. Look at Iraq. Iraq has huge amount of money that their central bank plays all over the world. UK sees their own and eat it and it's over. America sees their own. All the Western nations sees everything and took the money that belongs to Iraqis. And America now went in and packed the whole gold that belonged to Iraq. Where is Iraq gold? Disappeared. And don't be surprised now that now Russia is dumping US dollar. One, Russia is stockpiling gold. And this thing, you know the people that love it so much. So for you to succeed, you need to have the capability of Russia to be able to liberate yourself. You know that Iran is under sanction, isn't it? So, why did America place Iran under sanction? Upon, listen, upon they have agreement that they have agreed under Obama's government. And Trump came in and dismantled the whole agreement to tell you. You cannot sign any agreement with these people. You can't sign nothing with these people. These guys are cowboys. They need yeah, that thing from your territory. They got to have it one way or the other. Imagine a president of United States standing with the whole Western allies, agreeing on something, and they sign it and they sealed. Another president came in and said, I don't like it, and they dismantled everything. Those people don't want sitting down with them to negotiate. Russia, what Russia is doing is the only way to talk to these people. The best agreement is to go to war. And let me tell my people, get ready. Get yourself ready because this war may spill over. Ask me why. Now, America is fast-forwarding the agreement in Geneva Convention, in Geneva, the, the, the Geneva Agreement they are having with Iran. They are fast-forwarding everything to remove all the whole sanction on Iran so that they will have alternative to buy crude. Listen, no. only when their interest is trampled upon anything, then they will be able to allow you to breathe. They don't want to suffer like you. They don't want to test that suffering. That suffering that they are giving to countries, America don't want to test it. And if I will be Iran and Russia, stick together. Let America just test 0.1% of those things they are giving to other countries. Could you believe that as I'm talking to you now, America sent special envoy to um, Venezuela, if you can remember the Venezuela that they want to destroy, the Venezuela they want to dismantle, the Venezuela that all America and Britain and Western countries, even London sees their gold, Venezuela gold that is deposited in London, that's supposed to have immunity, England sees that gold. America sees the whole money that their cent uh, Venezuela Central Bank placed in their in their banks. They seize everything. They want they, they have been placing hunger on Venezuelan people. Do you know that America sent their envoy yesterday to go and beg Venezuela that they will lift all the sanctions they place on them? 
They will release their money that they are seizing. They will release their gold only for Venezuela to start selling oil to them. Are you seeing that hypocrites? That's why I'm telling Africans, this Russian issue will reveal to us the best strategy we should use to get what we want. I do use the word, let's go hungry today and be happy by tomorrow. Look at Iran. Look at Venezuela. That America called state sponsored of terror is Iran. You are now begging, putting your thirst between your legs, begging Iran and Venezuela. Ask yourself, why should America take this step? Let me answer that question. Because the war in Ukraine may spill over. This war may not end in Ukraine. Let me they tell you. Because the type of sanction they place on Russia in international interpretation is declaration, de 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 declarification of war. They have declared war on Russia. Because there are various war you can declare on somebody. Shooting war, cold war, or economic war. And they, as they are declaring this war on Russia, upon knowing quite well, they are not into war with Russia. Ukraine is not NATO. I understand that. And Ukraine is a sovereign nation. I understand that. America has been trampling on top of every country on this planet. Both the one they bombed, both the one they sanctioned, both the one they prevented from elevating from poverty. All of them now war, if you don't know. Nigeria has been suffering in an American war for a very long time. Since Abacha regime, America placed Nigerian refineries on sanction. And those refineries were crippled. Abacha. Now today Abacha died. Since that time, ask yourself, if America have lifted that sanction, they, they are holding the world captive. And this gradually time that even though the Saudi Arabia, I made a proclamation that Saudi Arabia will one day become the worst enemy of the United States. Mark my word. Because what does it take for you to become their enemy? If you fail to dance to their tone. If Saudi, Russia, Iran, Venezuela, we hold their hands together, at least both Nigeria, at least one barrel of oil that's supposed to be at least $9,000 or $10,000, less, they should dismantle that dollar. That green bag is causing headache. Is causing headache. Imagine India staying neutral between these wars of Russia, Europe, and Ukraine. America want to place sanction on India, telling India that they are buying defense equipment from Russia. Who are they buying from? Why should you place sanction on people because they want to buy their defense equipment from somebody else? Everybody must buy from you. Why? And as I'm talking to you. Go and check the stock of American military industrial complex. Sky rocketing. Because a lot of countries are now importing weapons from U.S. If America care about Ukrainian people as they are verbally portraying this thing, leave this sanction they are giving you. That one, in my mind. If America love Ukraine people, if they love them, just tell Russia that Ukraine will not be member of NATO. Say it first of all, before written. Just say it. This war in Ukraine will end under 24 hours. You get me? But are they doing it? Are they doing it? Rather, they are fueling the war. You heard what the Pentagon Pentagon just said yesterday. They said they can 
remove Ukraine president from that place and he will be ruling Ukraine from exile. And they are also planning the worst case scenario. Let's you know, listen. You know, say on a press, they give on a fake news. Now, all the whole Russian app, all their platforms has been disconnected because they don't want us to get alternative to what is going on. They want the population to buy to what they are saying. But there are means you can circumvent all those things. Use VPN. You will have access to everything they blocked from Russia. O, um, this is uh, O-D-Y-S-E-E. -E, o this. Go and download their app or you go to their website. You will view all the whole Russian um, um, programs. Yes. Or you go through Tor browser. You will view Russian websites. Yes. There are many ways to view all these things. These people, Pentagon, made it clear that even though the president of Ukraine dies in this war, they are going to create another president for Ukraine from outside. Can you, did you, did you hear that? Can you people remember Friends of Syria? The legitimacy government of Syria that is based in Turkey. Now that same thing they want to do Ukraine now. Now Ukrainian people should ask themselves, what do we want? Do we want to be crying to the international community and no help is coming? Or we press our government to sign to Russia that they are going to be neutral? You know, people are crying, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. Ask Ukrainian people, what do you want? Do you want this war to continue? Or you want the war to end? If you want the war to end, all of you should go on the streets and demand that your government should give Russia what they want and the war ends. And if you fail to do it, it then means that war will maybe come toward World War. Because Russia may secure Ukraine now and they will tell NATO to dismantle all their military infrastructure in, in various Eastern Europe areas and there everything will get hot. I watch a program, you know, I watch a program where, um, let me see, I will be back here. Okay, I watch a program where one European man was saying, all the people fighting in Ukraine are cadets. <laughs> Did you hear me? That is what the man said. He said that both if you watch the people they captured, all the people Ukrainians captured, all of them are cadets. And all Russian heavy equipment are standing by. None of them has been used. None of them has been used. Now I understand why Russia wants to secure Ukraine. Because the West want to use Ukraine to fight, fight Russia. If Russia secure Ukraine now, dismantle all their military equipment, they will now stand on a higher ground to face NATO. Quote me right, this war is not going to end in this place. That's why America want to leave sanction on all the whole countries they place sanction upon so that they will supply the world with crude. Because gas price is skyrocketing. Fuel price is skyrocketing. Crude price is skyrocketing. Or should I touch food? Imagine the West giving Russia sanctions so that Russian citizens should suffer. We in Germany now are suffering. As I'm talking to you, we don't the suffering. Everything, don't put money, everything, everything, everything don't add. Price don't the skyrocket. Don't forget, say, the weed, where did they take deliver to all over the world? I don't know whether now Russia and Ukraine hold up to 40% of it. 40%. Now tell me, which country will cover that 40%? If the whole world is holding only 60 and two countries are holding 40 who is going to replace them? 
is going to get hot. Our wallet will become more empty because of our foolish politicians. You told all you told the world before that you formed NATO to defend your allies against Soviet Union. Soviet Union don't collapse. You now say that you are protecting them from Russia. But you are taking the same NATO to Russian border. How can you protect NATO by moving NATO to Russian border? Should be a question that everybody is asking. You see, um, fuel is now 2 euro 20 cents. It will reach 5 euros. Time is not taken. I know they drive car again. Now leg they take waka. And small time, ban off. I mean ban off. That is train stations. We fool. People will park their vehicle and be moving. <laughs> uh, leg bands will come out. I will bring out leg bands, and people will repair their bicycle. You will not use bicycle to go to where you are going to, because even though if you park your vehicle. The ticket, train ticket, will add money because now the same gas from Russia that they use the power up. Russia they supply gas to Europe. Russia they supply crude to Europe and America. Russia they supply crude to Europe. Russia they supply um, um, titan. The material they used to build uh, jet fighter and, and planes. Now Russia the supplier. And the pro the product that they use to pro uh, produce um, chips, the chips they use to process to build the smartphone, television, everything smart, smart bomb, smart this, smart that. Now Russia they bring up. And you want sanction them. The number fifth economy in the world. And you think, say, if you sanction them, we will not first feel the earthquake. And Russia has made it clear. They didn't even leave this their news. Sanction Russian gas, sanction this. Russia said that they, they are not even depending on European market. They have stretched their market up to Asia. And they are ready to lay pipes to every corner in Asia. Who is going to lose? It's Europe. But all this war that America is doing here now in Europe, they think that this war, they have too far. You are too far during the Second World War. Even America wasn't far during the Second World War because Hitler submarines were in American shores waiting for others to attack. Yes. If by that time Hitler could reach your shore, Today, any war you portray in Europe, I'm talking to the United States, will reach your shores. And Russia possess the vehicle that will reach each, every inch and corner of your country. If you think that the war will be fought here, nine, 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 no, 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 no. Either our leaders in Europe will wake up and stand their ground and tell America, enough. Ukraine, you are not coming to European Union. Turkey don't apply since, I don't know whether since 70 years, it never work. Ukraine, you are not joining. Ukraine, you are not joining NATO, period. So that, we we'll go chop the men. I don't want uh, Africa, make us start a building a defense, so because if it breaks out, <laughs> You know, say during the Second World War, or I know we have Queen Elizabeth go seek asylum. I don't know whether not Kenya, I've been uh, Zimbabwe. All of them will run to Africa. All of them are going to run to Africa. That's why they are keeping you so like like animals, so that whenever they need you, they will come and have you. Africans should join hand and tell America. Denounce Ukraine from joining NATO because that war will reach Africa. As soon as I don't they see now, they are pushing you people to give sanction, and most of you are queued in. Stay neutral when two masters are fighting. 
is the opportunity for the people, the slaves, they are holding captives, will escape. Yes. Imagine America going to Venezuela to beg. <laughs> this one, no. this one, no. this one, this one, no, no, it's more thing, no. Going to Iran, fast forwarding the agreement so that Iran will start selling. <laughs> if I be Iran, uh, <laughs> lie, yo. lie. Because the way they operate, they single, they single, single people out and fishing you guys one after the other. You guys should bundle yourself together now and remain resolute, strong. They can't do nothing. Allow the people in America, as America, they overthrow government outside. Do you know say you can overthrow government in America? Do you know that government in America can also be overthrown? They don't want it. That's why they are running to Venezuela to beg. Fast forwarding the agreement with Iran. But if Venezuela said no, and Iran said no, you will see that the people in the United States will kick the ass of that man. They call their president out of that position. Let me they tell you. That thing they want it to happen. You see, everything they are praying for Russia is coming to them. Every, you know, Putin always says that the salad they are making, the chemical salad they are preparing for him to eat, he's now using it to feed them. Using the salad they prepared to feed them. Ukraine, all of us know that war is not good. Your people are dying. Your economy is being crippled. Your people are now refugees. Please, please, for the sake of your people, your land, calm down. And uh, uh, one uh, expert, one expert made, made, said something that I start thinking. He said that, the Ukrainian politicians that want to change the status quo, like promising Russia that will not join, are being arrested by their new Nazi military battalion. That's why nothing is happening. And the people that are sponsoring these people is Americans that are paying their salary. Their salaries are coming from the U.S. You are holding your country captive just for the world to see Russia as an aggressor. You are fooling yourself. If they cannot come for your aid, even though Poland was saying that they are going to send jet fighter to, to support um, uh, Ukraine, they are going to give them jet fighter. Yesterday, Poland sent a fake news. Fake, fake news. America won't push them. Make them go do them. They said no. They said they are not going to send no jet fighter to Ukraine because Russia made it clear. Any jet fighter that Ukraine gives to them, um, Poland gives to Ukraine, and Ukraine use that jet fighter on Russia, it then means Poland have joined the war. Poland have started bombing Russia because you can't tell the Russians that your jet fighter is not Polish pilot that I need. Have you seen it? You may come on television and tell us that uh, it's not also it's Ukrainian pilot. Do you have any proof? That is, my people back home in Africa, get yourself ready for the worst case scenario. We may live to see third world war, and God forbid, atomic war. The atomic, we only see the video where they test and the one they throw in Japan may come in reality. Pray, pray that Ukraine should come to their senses and give Russia what they want for this war to end there. Because Putin made it clear, if Ukraine keeps on the path they are going, the world may wake up tomorrow there will be nothing like Ukraine again. You may ask yourself, how do you mean? 
wake up, are you going to wipe them? Are you going? No. They will divide Ukraine in countries. And let me tell you, the worst thing that can happen to a country is division. Because immediately, because as the government in Ukraine now are ruling, there are people jogging that want to take over that government. And they are being arrested, they are being pushed back. Imagine dividing the country and make them the president, give them police and military. They will never ever accept to join back again. They will never accept to join back again. So there will be no Ukraine. There may be new Ukraine. But the old Ukraine we know that is two times bigger than France will cease to exist. Maybe we will see small territory like Romania, Ukraine that will remain. And the remaining will become whatever. The good thing you will do for me is to like my page, my people. Share my videos because Facebook, they are shadow bounding my programs. A lot of things that I'm sharing. Um, somebody says, not what Russia wants, what they agreed on. I didn't get what you are trying to say, um, God's power. If you'll be able to write it well so that I will understand where you are going to. So if anybody have any question, you may put it in writing now. Let me go through the questions and uh, let me see whether people have already asked questions already. What do you have to say about the involvement of Russia during the Afran war? Um, a wrong comment. Um, I'm answering this, uh, this uh, um, Sammy Green. Sammy Green. Russia did not um, attack Biafra. It was the Soviet Union. Soviet Union, I mean, is even Poland is among, Ukraine is among, Belarus is among, Russia is among, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, all Kas, 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 all of them are Soviet combined. <laughs> that they came together are one country like Nigeria. All of them are one country. They are the one that supported the federal government of Nigeria with the blessing of Great Britain. So let me uh, what uh, check another question. Nelson Mandela actually must be saying the same. Okay. So um, let me. You are not getting uh, to that. Uh, okay, that's another, another question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any question? Okay. The, the, my opinion on this is that the war will end, not end with Ukraine only. Um, I believe so, because uh, if you see how the Americans are begging all the people they gave sanctions to lift, to accept, to deliver product to them so that they will lift their sanction, the war will not end there. So, my people, thank you very much for tuning in and share this video. Invite your friends. Invite your friends. Invite your friends to join it. I will come in later so that we we'll discuss on African affairs. You know, that African affairs and uh, also getting our people prepared because of the next coming election in Nigeria. I'm going to come live later so that we we'll discuss on that issue. Thank you very much. Remain blessed and stand by Russia. So I read something about a law that allow America to get their way through or with issues when called to the International Criminal Court. Um. No, there is no law. What they do is when the Hague wanted to investigate, not Hague, Hague, Hague in America now, Hague, this one with the Netherlands here, and America set that one up to punish African leaders. Hague is not made for Europe. Have you seen any other, any third world country? That is why they set up Hague. Hague is American structure. If you are talking about international um, 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 human rights court or, or this one that Nigeria, uh, Nigeria man is sharing, uh, what they call it, um, it's a criminal court or whatever. 
Um, they tried to investigate American war crime in Afghanistan, and America placed sanction on all their leaders, even though they tried to sanction their finance and everything. You know, they used their sanction to get their way, to get whatever they want. So that's the issue there. You know, ICC, ICC, forget our criminal court, all of them now, American property, forget them. If you want to see something tangible, let Russia and, 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 and China and Africa set up something. You will see they will, they will discredit whatever you do. All, everything they do is for their own agenda, not for you. So, bye-bye for now, my people. Remain resolute and stand by Russia. We want peace once and for all. And if worst case scenario, let's dethrone dollar. Dollar should be dethroned. So, bye-bye.